In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can curate your own brand imagery using Canva. So why would we wanna do this? We wanna do this essentially to save time and to give us clarity around the types of image that we're using in our marketing. We wanna have a cohesive look across the board. So the images that we're using on social media and in our, our personal marketing and all of that stuff, we wanna make sure that they all look the same so that people can recognize the tone of our brand. So if you have yet to discover what your brand style is, head over to instastylequiz.com, which is my free quiz that you can take, and it will separate you into one of the four street six brand styles. And once you have that clarity, you'll know whether you're moody vintage or modern minimal or classic luxe, and you're gonna be able to um, better define what your brand imagery should be based on your brand style. So how do we start? Let's start. You create a design, and what I like to do is just create an Instagram post canvas. So now we have the size of an Instagram post, which makes it super easy, and it's probably what we're gonna be using our brand imagery for the most in real estate, so let's keep things super simple and just make things easy for us in the long run. Then we're gonna head over to the left-hand panel, click Photos, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our brand style as a guide to help us select the right photos. So let's say that your, your results were boho chic. So I'm gonna type in boho, and I'm gonna see all of these images here, and I'm gonna to start to pick the ones that I love, that I think I can use in my marketing, and that represent my brand, my values, and who I am in my company. So I'm gonna start off by thinking, well, you know what, I could totally use this one as a post, and I'm just gonna fill her out here, and then I'm gonna click Add Page, and I'm gonna do the same for all the ones I think I can use in real estate. Now here is a trick. If you find a photo that you absolutely love, let's say this one here, and you click the three dots on the photo, you can then click the photographer's name and it will open up her or his gallery. And when you open up their gallery, generally, hopefully, a lot of photographers have a tone, like a type of style. They have a style with their photography. So when you click on those three buttons, what ends up happening a lot of the time is that you'll have all of these photos that have the same brand style or same tone to them. So it makes curating your images so much easier. Now this one's not as curated as I was hoping with that example. So let's choose a different one. Um, I'm gonna again type in boho. And let's say I really loved this one. I just love the coloring. I love the feel of it. I am going to click on this person's gallery. I'm gonna open it. And I have, not only do I have the same tone throughout, but I also have the same photo, but different angles, different representations. So instead of being forced to use that one image that I really liked, now I have different angles to choose from as well. So this is a really, really great trick. Um, if you are trying to put together an image gallery. Like we have so many to choose from now with this woman instead of just that one. So you just keep adding pages and you're gonna keep adding uh, photos that you think that you can use for um, Instagram that help that, you know, really spark that boho vibe. I love this as an interior. Uh, this is a great bedroom. What's this? I think we already looked at her gallery. Oh, love this one. And then if we click these three buttons here, yeah, this one is far more in line. If as soon as I clicked on this one, you can tell that this is all, they're all the same tone here. So you could easily just stay, stay here and select all the photos that you think that you could use on in marketing or on Instagram um, or in any of your marketing, anything. Like when you're sending out your flyers to your farm area, you could use these as well. Uh, love. These are great. I'm in love with these photos actually. And you just keep going and finding styles that you like. And my last trick for helping you curate a collection is also you can always head up to these three dots and then add to likes and that will put all of your photos into a folder. So you don't have to do this Instagram post per se. You can actually add them to your liked folders and then you'll have um, 
you'll have all of the photos that are your brand style. So just make sure that you're constantly liking uh, brand imagery photos and you'll be good to go. Now, if you don't have Canva Pro, because you're very limited if you don't have Canva Pro with the images, I'm gonna urge you to head over to unsplash.com. And when you're here, these these are this is my go-to for all images and you can do the same thing you can type in boho and then you have a ton of options that you can then bring over to um, canva so let's say you love this one it's a great picture i'm going to copy this image i'm gonna head back to uh oh i don't i'm gonna head back to my design which is here Yes, here it is. And then right click paste. And that's going to bring, hmm, it should be bringing it in. Copy. Okay. <laughs> So I had to actually press uh, the short key. So if you if you right click on here and you see these little codes on the side, they're actually um, hotkeys, like they're shortcuts that you can use on your keyboard. And for some reason, Canva wasn't allowing me to um, use the right click, copy and paste. They wanted me to command V and that's why I was struggling a bit. But easy enough, you head over, let's do it again so that you're not confused by any of that that I just said. Um, I'm gonna choose a photo. I'm gonna right click, copy image. I'm gonna head over to my design. I'm gonna open a new page. And instead of right clicking paste, which Canva seems to be finicky about, I'm gonna press Command V on my keyboard and that will bring it in. And now I have this as part of my brand imagery. This is one of the reasons why I love to use Canva, um, the Instagram post method rather than putting um, photos into my folder because when you like a fold, uh, photo in Canva, it's not going to include the photos that you bring in from outside of Canva. So here, if you create a document with all these pages, then you just have this one document that hosts all of your brand images and it's also really easy to share with somebody. So let's say that you have a designer that's coming onto your team, you hit share and you can share this as a template with them and then they will have access to all of these photos that you want to use in your marketing. So really, really great tool. You can also download all of these images into a folder and then share that with your team as well. So love this this way to do it but if you're not that type of person or you just want to have all of your photos in a folder somewhere else on canva then there's also the option of just liking the photo itself and that's it that's how you curate your image collection and now once you're done you can just keep adding to it over and over again every time you find a photo that you like you can just pop it in here and you'll have this for as long as you want it, it's there for you. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel so you get updates on all of these new videos that we'll be putting out and make sure to like the video and definitely comment if you found value or with any questions that you might have. Happy designing.